graph the lines y equals 3 and x equals negative 2. We're given a hint here that these lines are going to be horizontal and vertical, but if we didn't recognize that, all we have to do is think about what this means. Look at the first one, for instance, y equals 3. What that says is that this is all the points with a y-coordinate of 3, regardless of their x-coordinate. So they can have any x-coordinate as long as they have a y-coordinate of 3. Well, plot a couple of points with a y-coordinate of 3, and you'll notice they all line up along this horizontal line. So the line y equals 3 is a horizontal line because it's all the points with a y-coordinate of 3, and it's a horizontal line at 3, of course. Similarly, with the second line, x equals negative 2, this one says that this is all the points with an x-coordinate of negative 2, regardless of the y-coordinate. So if the x-coordinate is negative 2, they'll line up here where the x's are negative 2, and it can be any point on this vertical line now. So in general, a horizontal line has the form y equals some number, in this case 3, and a vertical line has the form x equals some number, in this case negative 2. So the purpose of this example was just to get familiar with that fact so that now whenever we see an equation y equals a number, we recognize that that's a horizontal line, and when we see x equals a number, we recognize that that's a vertical line. And if you ever forget which one is which, just think about this picture and think about what it means to say that y equals 3 that it means that that's all the points with a y-coordinate of 3.